Hi, I'm Mike Bellevue, and today I'm at the Lancaster County Long Rifles Annual Rendezvous in Muddy Run. That's in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Now, this is my first time attending this event, and I've got to say it's pretty impressive. Last night we got the count at over 300 lodges, and uh, there's a sea of white canvas out here. So let's take a walk around and see what there is to see. Alright, so this is kind of the back camping area in the woods and this is where I'm situated you can see my camp down there through the trees it's nice and cool shady a beautiful setting here well people generally ask to see what my camp looks like so here it is uh, it's just a wedge tent and an awning and uh, basically, it's got all the comforts of home. So you can see they gave us a very handsome shooter's medallion. Uh, I've, I've gone to a few events that hand out <laughs> quite nice medallions, though most of them are just blocks of wood with a number painted on it. But uh, these guys really went to the extra level of class. Well, we've got quite a few vendors, settlers, and craft people here this year. Vendor areas up there, and then this whole stretch here is all vendors. So, of course, this is 2021, which is the second year of the COVID pandemic, which has made things a little bit odd. Um, last year, 2020, most of the events were canceled. So, of course, people are getting a little bit antsy, and, and already this year, some events have been canceled as well. And in a way, that benefited Muddy Run because just before this rendezvous is usually the Fort Frederick Market Fair. Uh, but because of Maryland's COVID regulations, they had to cancel that. And really, we benefited by uh, vendors who showed up here who would ordinarily be there. So we've got a whole host of vendors out here with all different kinds of materials. And uh, really, it's, it's been a great shopping experience if there's anything you need. Well, here's a look at uh, at some of the vendors who were set up at Muddy Run. And I know I bought a few things, and uh, my friends have been buying like crazy. So all in all, I think they had a pretty good week. So we can take a look at some of the great stuff that uh, was out on, on display, including handmade knives and just a variety of crafts and camping gear. Of course, horn makers, always well represented. Most of these guys would have been at Fort Frederick, so it was great to have them here. Well, there are several craftspeople here plying their trades, and that's always great to see. So I stopped by the blacksmith, and uh, as a matter of fact, I needed him to repair a rifle stand for me. So I was lucky that there was one there, but uh, it's always very picturesque to watch them working. Also plying his trade here at Muddy Run was my buddy, Dan the Horn Man. Uh, Dan, as his name says, makes powder horns and all sorts of horn implements. And he was over here uh, working and selling for the, whole, for the whole week. Now, I've known Dan for years, many years, and I've been with him at events across Pennsylvania, uh, Maryland, Kentucky, uh, just all over the place. He's a, he's a great craftsman, and he's a very entertaining person. He puts on, he puts on a pretty good little show for the crowd, uh, and he's just fun to be with. So Dan was actually camped right across the path from me this year, and I got to spend a lot more time with him, and also I got to meet a bunch of new friends through Dan, uh, which is always just great. Well, into every camping trip, it seems like a little rain must fall, and I don't know if you can hear it hitting the canvas, but we're having a little shower right now. I'm supposed to continue off and on for most of the rest of today. We'll see. Gives you a little quiet time. To me, one of the best things about rendezvous is just going around and uh, talking to people, <laughs> meeting people. 
Uh, a lot of folks at Muddy Run are old friends of mine, so I did a lot of visiting, and that is uh, is really uh, some of the most fun that, that I have while I'm there. And along with all the old friends, I also got to make some new friends while I was uh, while I was camped there, and that is always fun. More walking, less talking. Evening, Bellevue. Of course, it wouldn't be rendezvous without some good old flintlock rifle shooting, and uh, Muddy Run offered plenty of that. Uh, they had woods walks, and they had standard paper target shoots. Uh, get all the shooting in that you desired. As you can see, it wasn't just limited to the men. Oh, we had a windstorm that came through, uh, lasted all day Friday. It really had to keep us on our toes because we actually had uh, 50 mile an hour wind gusts blowing through the camp. It was, it was pretty intense. Well, this ended up being my uh, big purchase, my impulse purchase of this event. And I didn't expect to do this, but uh, I saw this English Fowler at a price that I just could not pass up. And it's a 12 gauge gun and it is a beauty. You can see it's beautifully carved, engraved, it's got really nice moldings. They say engraving, well done. Just a well executed gun. Uh, a friend of mine was selling it because he's downsizing, and I know it's an accurate gun, <laughs> and I can't wait to try it out with some smoothbore loads. So it's a beautiful English Fowler. And it was, it was worth the trip in and of itself. So that was the Muddy Run Rendezvous in a nutshell. And I really wanna thank the Lancaster County Long Rifles for putting on such a wonderful event. I mean, they work hard all year. They're really dedicated to making this a top-notch event. And, and believe me, it was one of the uh, one of the best run events that I've ever been to. So if you're looking for something to do outside at the end of April in 2022, you might give this a try. <laughs>